What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Tide Wallets play as Louisiana. So to round off what happened last time, uh, we are finishing our conquest of the Cherokee and we are being attacked by their garrison so we're going to defend. So let's fight. So we have been pondering... Uh, so the last whole... the last big episodes they've been released, um, I've actually recorded some time ago because I was in a real, real good place. Maybe even two weeks now. Um, I've actually been thinking about how... Well, my next moves, really. Um, so this is a this is beautiful land to do, to uh, withstand a Native American attack. Um, so what I mean is that I would really like that colonial conquest. Like I don't want to have a British... A British uh, territory ready that, that will slowly start to build colonial forces and while colonial forces aren't they aren't like uh, very capable they're usually very basic infantry units and basic cavalry units I don't think I would I don't think I want them just there on my uh, continental landmass so we think I may be going to war with Great Britain. And I think it's probably a good thing to do in the grand scheme. So we've gone for a fairly basic loadout, infantry, centre, artillery left and right. Oh dang, I forgot, that's where the uh, garrison's coming in from, okay. Ah, um, so busy jabbering to myself. I've actually managed to... Uh... Okay, now don't send you guys. Send my colonial light cav out to try and intercept the uh, mounted gunners because I don't want to lose my heavy cavalry in such a cheap way. Just push my cavalry up, push my infantry up, ready to pivot the line. Bring my gunners just straight over here. run my cavalry to intercept those tribal gunners to prevent them from causing too much damage. Bear in mind we do, we are going to have native troops on our front. My light cavalry is not doing so well off the bat. Colonial cavalry hit that native bowman. Everyone else, too bad we got the sound bug, but everyone else open up these men here, Native American warriors. Uh, the Muscogee, or the Muscogee tribe, tribemen, you don't really see too many of them. My lights are going to destroy the bowmen as they get cut down with the musket fire. Light cavalry is about to actually get destroyed. Let's charge the chief's bodyguard. Doesn't I'm not that bothered about losing that artillery because we do have just buckets of artillery to pull the cuirassiers in against the uh, general's bodyguard. Bring my cavalry back. Go smash the tribemen. Yeah, it's our gunners destroyed, but we're going to get a kill on their general. Bring the chief, his bodyguard over here. They've been shattered. Okay, keep charging the bowmen because they are not destroyed. I do want this wing to move up fairly aggressively. Artillery, stay back. Throw more men into the mix. Let's keep going after the native bowmen. The mounted tribal gunners 
should lose this musketry battle. Got my general over here. These guys are actually going to get decimated by the bowmen to a degree. But the main goal is to keep my infantry body alive because right now we're actually getting a good amount of kills and then my cuirassier should be doing quite a good job. I may even just deploy my guns like so. Consider these men a write-off. Pull these guys back. Pull my general back. Throw these men into the Native American warriors so I can keep pushing these men around the flank. So, sacrificing my cuirassiers and my grenadiers and so on. Um, but the idea is to form a better defensive line. There we go. Those guys are shattered, so bring my cavalry over. Because the key thing with... key thing to bear in mind with Native American units is you don't want them to uh, start to get a, a chain route going on. You guys stop what you're doing. So let's extract our grenadiers, although they may you know, just get out of the way. You blast canister shot into the combat, which granted does have friendly units in it, but the main idea is to hold them up. So it's funny we got this. Yeah, so cuirassiers are shaken. But the idea is by keeping them there, we are allowing ourselves to form another defensive line. our cavalry back to uh, freedom. I don't know why, why everyone we've got is trying to shoot. Some guys all the way over there. Let's bring our Coeur de Bois up into the line as well. Our general is ready. Sorry, Curiosiers. Just hold them up. Blank. You guys halt where you are. But there we go. So these men to flank to smash that bowman. These guys in the centre should be extremely unhelpful for their side. So this is where the bulk of their actual army, the garrison's coming in. But if they can smash that bowman unit, that would be excellent. Keep killing them for, me for the meantime. There you go, their left flank is broken. Get my artillery to switch to round shot and begin engaging. Reinforcements coming in. You guys hit this next unit of bowmen. Some Native American warriors that are going to make it to the front line, which is not great. I don't want to send my general out because they do have Chief's bodyguard that can intercept. See if we can knock out this Bowman unit, but I don't think we can. 
not on the charge. I think I managed just a bit too tired. Okay, the artillery is no longer helpful because it's been blocked by the terrain. Let's push in a new position for our line infantry. Now you guys recharge the bowmen. Can I go fly? It's probably not going to do as much. It's still probably... It might do it, actually. Just keep fighting them. Just give them enough time for our... centre to get into position. This tribe, tribes, tribesman unit I do not think is going to have a very good time. We may lose our cavalry. Um, but the main bulk of our army is intact and pushing up. So I could probably even do something like this. In case we lose our cavalry, because it is a question of who wavers first, and I don't like my odds. Nope. And he's about to reload as fast as they can. Ideally, I'd push a bit further down the hill, but I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. a bit further down to try and buy some space for our artillery. Should cause that native bowman to rout. So his bows are surprisingly effective at narrowing down They've got they're about they're just less than half strength. Half strength. There we go. Probably more something like that. Now they've changed direction. There we go. So now I have to get a bit more aggressive against their archers. Get a bit more defensive against their chief's bodyguard. Just keep everyone running. Don't give them any easy routes to uh, screw with us. You stay where you are and you are limber. Are you going to stop? You are going to stop. Perfect. Just in range of our infantry. Yeah, the key to fighting the native troops is A, not be a dum-dum, um, like I am frequently. Uh, but also have a backup plan, be ready to sacrifice troops to keep the core of your army going. Because the worst thing you can do is just keep, personally, is keep throwing men into a melee combat. It's much better to try and pull as many of them out as you can, form a new line, and then sacrifice some men to the greater good. But that looks like it. I'm going to call it there, because our armies are very poorly indeed soon or well, that could be it actually the end of the Cherokee nations okay you and oh, that's their army Why? right chaps replenish and let's do some economy investing let's get the plantations here in Florida cracking 
and let's get the entire state firing on all cylinders. Um, so, I do need to, or I do want to take Britain, I do want to take Charleston, and Britain will not sell them to me, so I will declare war on them, and that means I will then sail and conquer the British Isles, and then I will have a foot in the European war, which may or may not be a good thing. Um, I mean, Austria is on an absolute tear right now. But if I can take Great Britain and have that as a base of operations for Europe and have my main effort actually be against the Mughals, that would be perfect. Oh, and I do also need to take this fella, I remember. You're acting as a blocker for those guys. I don't want to send them to attack because they will die. You can leave this territory now, right? Absolutely not. Okay, well... Neither of these guys can leave yet. That's for darn sure. Actually, you can. How bizarre. March on Upper Louisiana, which may rebel anyway and probably become French, which would be super annoying. But we're still building up our reach in these areas uh, to turn you into a church school, most probably, to help convert the population, get rid of some religious unrest, and also spawn more priests. They hide behind women's skirts. To be honest, you can probably just attack them. Um, so let's go and... Actually, no, I want to draw these guys back in to fight. Because if I attack them, these guys will just start raiding everywhere, which I don't want them to do. If I keep this army laying siege to Savannah, it might draw this guy back into combat. So that way we have an element of control. Do you have the Mughals? Oh, you guys. You're marching over to Cartagena. Great the farmland. You march to Campeche. Go Campeche. One or the other. Okay, so what I definitely want to do, probably, is... Well, I don't know, it's not... Second rate, galling, galling, fifth... A couple of third rates. Well, if they want to try it on against Remy... Remy Ogero, then <laughs> Mr. Sir Kouf will have a word to say... Words to say with them about that. Um, but I do want to be very careful, because when we fight... When we declare on declare war against Britain. That does mean war against everyone on the high seas. So we do want to have armies like this guy. Ready to sail over. Let's probably bring you over to probably to Boston. We do have a top tier navy. It'd be quite nice to send a top tier navy over with them. So you're ready. You will march on the capital most likely. This rake. Oh, there's no point trying to kill him because he's useless. Let's get him to get up. Let's get the rake up to Boston as well to join the voyage across the seas. Oh, we got 34,000. Tampico in New Spain. Tampico is bueno. Um, let's get another trade port. We've already got a major fishery. You don't really need any more growth, pop growth, because it's already quite, quite high. And then let's pick up a sloop, ready to go occupy or to garrison that port. Cool. So in terms of our techs, we're starting to research some quite late game tech. Sadly, no top two universities, so I may end up having to... Uh, you can make them tax-free. Well, it will help a bit. Well, I've got so much money, I'm going to make uh, my capital tax-free. And then uh, when this the uh, Cherokee threat is dealt with, these guys will be disbanded in the region. Let's upgrade the cotton warehouse. Till and turn. And let's see if that army will march to the defence 
of the garrison there. The garrison at uh, Georgia. Yeah, my goal isn't to get involved in a European war, but I want to make sure I want to have um, continental hegemony. I don't want them building up any annoying little forces, and I do then want to take Britain. Um, well, I'll need to take Britain. Chances are they won't make peace with me, so I'll take Britain. Then I have a fortified foothold in Europe, which means I can keep an eye on comings and goings. And there we go. They're sallying out, so let's do this. So I'll have some involvement in Europe, but I do want to send the majority of my troops over to India to re- well, not the seeds. Okay. Let them march into our guns. I'm not quite so happy about that tree line they've got there, but because they will have some protection, or they'll have they'll, they'll have some ability to creep up towards me. But I suspect if they that if they get that close to me, they're going to be so ravaged by fire by rank. They're not exactly going to have the time to uh, swan about. Very few good ideas. They're not going to have the time to uh, creep around and be careful. They're going to have to either march up or wait. Put my skirmishes at the head of the tree line. As a warning. It's a tripwire. This artilleryman just... One gun. So let's send my 11 light cavalry forward to act as a scout. My, my lone gun attack that unit of tribal gunners ah you can't fire is it because there's a tree in the way and it's gonna it's causing some Close the shooting range. some screw up I bet it is well there are two men are more than happy shoot the hell out of them Let's go for the tribal gunners. And it's speed up time, just because not a lot's going on. We're just attacking them with artillery. I think they're not going to make their move until they... Uh, they're not going to make their move until they their lines are fully organised. So let's run forward and then run away. There we go. Now the swarm is on. And let's pick some slightly beefier targets. Oh, no, don't say they were going to hide again. Tribal gunners are trying to skirmish my cavalry out of existence, but that's not going to happen. Oh, these men are about to be engaged by my coeur de bois. Skirmishers at range. They can attempt to return fire. But they're going to march into my uh, regular infantry's line of fire. Field of fire. Oh, the entire unit is dead, sir. Okay, let's just get my skirmishes just the hell out of the way. Switch my artillery to canister shot and then just 
Have fun, fellas. So here come their medicine men, which are quite a fearful unit when you're actually fighting them. Um, however, when they're marching towards you at very low strength. Native American warriors have routed. But they may have sucked up all the firepower for the native warriors. But my men are... Well, these guys aren't experts. But they're capable enough at reloading. As they've stormed the, the defences. Beyond that, I don't foresee that much hassle. Get my gunners engaging the musketmen on the ridge. The armed tribesmen are still storming over, but my men are capable enough, experienced enough, and outnumber them enough to throw them back. The bowmen, they can do some good stuff, because they're not useless. As long as I don't try and assassinate my general. Good. You guys, reload. And then just pour fire into that Native American Bowman unit. Even though they're not being shot at, their units are so low that they still say the combats are even. Because they know they can't take any casualties. Here comes the fire at will. Yeah. Okay, so this line is going to push up to help engage these musketmen, but we are very... We are not far away from the end. My round shot the chief's bodyguard. Uh, same with you, actually. Send my cavalry into the enemy. Let's make some incredibly elite. There could be elite core of a core of cavalry. You men about to get lashed with musketry. So much so I'm probably just gonna hit uh, speed up time. Just because these guys will break very soon. There they go. Um, probably, even though we can run around carrying on attacking them, we may as well end it because I suspect that will be the, uh, that territory's existence. They demand they, they demand we pay them for peace. Nope. Georgia demands we pay them for peace. Who are they allied with? Dagestan, the Russia. Counter offer. Just a piece. <laughs> They're offering 36 grand if we give them Panama and Milich. Okay, counter offer. Nope. I'm not going to grease their palm with territory or money. We will make a mutual peace if that is what you desire, or we will make no peace at all. So let's get Theodore's army rebuilt. Uh, it's probably cancel upgrading both of these because that's asking to get raided by them. Even you, actually, are probably a good idea to stop building that. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade the government building here. Keep you marching towards Upper Louisiana. So military academy in New Spain, which is good. A bunch of new sugar warehouses in New Spain as well. Let's see how they're doing on the export front. They are exporting everything, thankfully. Danico has been upgraded. Annapolis, you can have a civil building as well. You're working your way down the coast. 
fleet arrives, Roland Josephine. So this fella took a bit of a hammering. Let's get you to Demerara. Get you repaired. Upgrade the, the woodworking factory, the woodworking building there. I mean, we can attack this fella, but there's no rush. We've got him bottled up. Yeah, Mughal Empire trade fleet. Yes, my lord. Our nation the sea. Officer on deck. We go secure this way. trade post until we can get a trade fleet over there. Um, you're growing. Okay, that'll do. Let's get a fourth. Upgrade this iron workshop, upgrade this lumber mill. Pretty sure we don't have anything to build. We're going to have to rebuild most of the stuff here in Upper Louisiana because they've destroyed all of it. Okay, recruitment report on Northwest Atlantic has gained more ships. So this army is. Let's embark them ready. It's quite a green force, so it makes sense, I think, to send them to uh, to send them to attack Europe rather than our main uh, focus in future, which will be the Mughal Empire. You're sat there, ready. Okay, this rake can keep going north as well. Let's check our construction report. Cherokee Territory. Let's keep the road building going. Good. Let's upgrade this farm as well. Let's check all our territories for max level roads. It's a good thing to do, to do every so often, just to make sure you've not left regions behind. Good, that's everyone. We're starting to really bring in bring in the Benjamins now. One more turn till Cherokee are done. You can prop. Well, no, you're you're actually the head, <laughs> the Cherokee, uh, the former Cherokee capital. So you can't really Hi. leave. Waiting no, forward. negative eight. Okay, let's hit and turn. More of our armies are getting into position, so we'll probably land two to attack Britain. That will be more than enough. I can land one onto Ireland. Ooh, you demand military alliance and you demand money for that privilege. Why don't we just have a... Why don't we just have an alliance? Nope, I'm not going to give you money because you already dislike me, which means I think we will be at war soon. Well, we will be at war. They're a, a dominant power in Europe. Um, although, hopefully, they go and fight Spain. But I wanted to take the British Isles, fortify their buildings, their towns... To be honest, with all this extra cash, it might not be a bad idea once we've uh, secured our place, once we've pretty much conquered all of the, the Americas, and again, I'm not bothered about taking uh, Yankton, just because so far away I don't really care. Watch you guys over. Just a man just surrender. Ah... <laughs> Because it's the last, it's the last city of their empire. I feel like we sh we have to attack it. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the end of the Cherokee faction. Cheers, everyone.